So growing up, I didn't really know anybody who liked their job. Like people around me were constantly complaining about how they hated their job, they hated their boss, they hated their coworkers, they hated the pay, and nobody really felt fulfilled in their career. And I thought that that's just how work was. I thought that working meant hating your job, hating your boss, hating what you were being paid and never really feeling fulfilled and valuable in your career. But the truth is, um, is that I've aged a little, I've grown a little, and I've experienced career fulfillment for myself. And I now know what it means and I can assess it in other people as well. So today I'm excited to talk about career fulfillment and the green flags of career fulfillment. Because I think that oftentimes when it comes to career content, lots of people talk about red flags, they talk about what's not working, they talk about warning signs, and that's good. But I think sometimes it's important to also talk about how do you know if something is working? How do you know if you're in the right spot? How do you know if you're where you're supposed to be. And so I want to talk about the green flags in career fulfillment. How do you know if something is working? And then of course, the opposite of what I'm going to talk about today is if this is not happening in your career, if this is not what you're experiencing in your career, if you can't relate to anything that I'm talking about, that's a sign that there's some red flags and I'm going to give you some pathways to do something about that. So I'm Ashley. I'm the lead mentor with Mentor Me. I own a professional development company for high achieving professional women called Mentor Me and I'm accepting new mentees in my programs right now for new mid-level and senior level professional women who are looking to advance their careers. And so if you are hearing what I'm saying today uh, around career fulfillment and this resonates with you and you know you need to do some more work around career fulfillment, then I invite you into mentorship. Again, I'm accepting new mentees in all of my programs right now. And you can go right to my website at mentor-me.org. So you can go to my website to schedule that call. Alrighty, so let's dive into this conversation. Career fulfillment and green flags to career success. So the first sort of sign, right, that you are experiencing career fulfillment, that things are going well in your career, that you feel settled in your career. The first sign, the first green flag to career fulfillment is is one that's um, in your body, right? Like this is a physiological sign. And this is one of my favorite signs about career because the body does not lie. The body does not lie. If there is something, if there's something going on that's good, your body's going to tell you. Your body's going to feel calm. Your body's going to feel at ease. Your body's going to like not feel alarmed, right? Like, and so if you feel calm and ease on Sunday nights as you prepare for the work week ahead, that is a green career flag. That means that you're experiencing career fulfillment. That means that you're not walking into a bomb, right? That means that you're not walking into chaos. That means you're not walking into overwhelm. If you on Sunday nights, if you feel calm and ease as you prepare for the work week ahead, if you're like you on Sunday evenings, you know, around four o'clock, you're just, you think about work and you're like, oh yeah, I got to go to work in the morning. Or, you know, you think about a meeting. You're like, yeah, I'm looking forward to having that conversation. Like if that's how you're experiencing um, work uh, on Sunday nights or thinking about work on Sunday nights, that means that you're, you're experiencing career fulfillment, right? Um, and I'm so grateful that for so many jobs that I've had in my career, like I look forward to going to work. I look forward to Sunday nights and Monday mornings. I'm excited about them. I remember in a job that I had, I literally would schedule my staff meetings for Monday mornings at like nine o'clock because I was so excited to meet with my teams after the weekend, right? Like I was so excited to connect with them and answer their questions and help them and share insight with them and like do that work, right? And so a green flag that you are experiencing career fulfillment is that you don't dread Sunday nights, right? That you're not, you're not, you're, you're, you're excited about, you know, going to work Monday morning. You experience ease um, and peace when thinking about the next day, the next work day, right? That's a green flag. Another sign of career fulfillment is that you're excited to go to work and engage your colleagues and your staff. <clears throat> so if you're excited to go to work, 
if you're excited to engage your peers, if you're excited to engage your in staff, you, if you're excited to engage your clients and your customers or your students or you know whoever your primary stakeholder is, if you're excited to engage your boss, right? Like if that if that brings you energy, if 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 you go, if you look forward to the one on ones, if you look forward to the team meetings, like that's a sign that you're experiencing career fulfillment, right? And let me be clear that when I say you know, excited, I don't mean like, this is the best experience I've ever had, or I literally cannot wait for this. Nothing brings me more joy because I feel like most people don't feel like that about Zoom meetings, right? Like, or no, nobody really feels like that about, you know, walking into the conference room. But what I mean by excited is like, excited intellectually like you know you're gonna walk into this room and engage with other people intellectually other smart people with other people who have really great ideas with other people who you know have values who are similar to your own right like you're gonna walk into that space um with some sense of excitement or interest or intrigue right if that's how you approach work like there's some interest here there's some intrigue there there's something that excites me about this i'm intellectually stimulated that's a sign of career fulfillment right the opposite of that is that you get annoyed when there's a meeting schedule you're bored every time a meeting schedule there's no intellectual or thought provoking or interesting conversations you're completely like snooze fest right like if that is what you're experiencing that's a that you're not fulfilled in your career but if you're intrigued by your staff meetings if you're intrigued by your colleagues if you look forward to intellectual conversations with your peers then that's a sign that you're experiencing career fulfillment and let me just pause here to say that again for a long time i just didn't think that this was possible right like you know, in my early 20s, you know, in my teens, in my early 20s, I just thought that work was a means to an end, honey. I just thought, you know, you go to work so you don't get fined, right? You go to work so you have money to pay your bills. You go to work uh, because you can't live off the government, you know, dole, right? Like you go to work because that's the only option, right? For adults who want to earn money, right? Like that, that that's the only option. I, I didn't recognize and I didn't yet realize that you could feel really fulfilled in your work. You can do meaningful work. You can serve people and help people and you can be paid well for doing it. Like all of that is available to you. And I just really didn't recognize that. I didn't realize that. I didn't, I didn't realize that that was available to me. And I think that because I didn't realize that it was available, um, it was something that I never really went after. Like, I just thought, okay, like I need to get a job to do meaningful work. And it's never that I hated the jobs that I had. It's not like I dreaded them, but I was kind of complacent, right? Like I was not really energetically engaged in the work. I was not... I didn't really do meaningful work, right? And it's not because the work I was doing couldn't be meaningful. It's just that I hadn't attached any real meaning to it. But once I recognized that like, oh, like you could actually like your job. You could actually do work that like really serves people well. You could do work that you really care about and that your constituents really care about. You could be paid well for doing meaningful work, right? You don't have to take the Mother Teresa approach to career development, like out here serving people and helping people and being impoverished and, you know, and living in a nunnery, right? Like you could do meaningful work and be paid well for doing it and see value in that and, and and be and be happy with that right and for a long time in my career I didn't recognize that so I didn't even think that career fulfillment was possible but now I know better and now my work in mentorship my work in career development is to help other cheap help help other high achieving professional women recognize that career fulfillment is available to them and then help them on the pathway to career fulfillment. Because too often I see high achieving professional women wasting away with, well, it is how it is. And that's all that's available to me. It ain't nothing else I can do. You know, that's just how work is. That's just how this industry is. That's just how these people are, right? And so often I see this mantra of it is how it is. And so that puts a wet blanket on the idea of career fulfillment. Right. Women don't even recognize that they can get to career fulfillment because everybody in their life, like everybody in my young life, hates their job. Right. And they think that that's all that's available to them. Right. But I'm here to tell you that career fulfillment is truly possible. And the pathway to career fulfillment is honestly aligning what you're good at with what you're not good at and what you value and building a career roadmap that's aligned with those things. Right. And too often, you know, we're like chasing a field because we heard it was popular or because we heard it paid good. Or we're chasing a field, you know, because that's what our degree is in and we don't know what else to do. Or we're chasing a field because we see other people be successful in it and we're like, well, I want success, so I guess I got to do that too, right? And, and, and instead of being very intentional and very strategic about our career moves, we're just kind of out here 
you know, throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something stick, hoping something land, hoping we hit a lick. And girl, like that's not career strategy. That's gambling. And we all know, we see the gambling hotlines. Like we know that that's not a long-term success strategy. They have hotlines specifically for people who gamble because they get addicted and then they ruin their entire lives. Your career is worth more than gambling. You really need career fulfillment, right? And it's available to you, but you have to have a strategy toward fulfillment. Right. You have to have a strategy. So we talked about two ways, like two green flags in terms of like you're experiencing career fulfillment. Green flag number one is that you experience ease on Sunday nights. Right. You 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 experience peace on Sunday nights. You're not stressed over Monday morning. Green flag number two, that you're excited to go to work. You, you're you look forward to engaging your peers, your colleagues, your staff, your constituents. Right. Your clients, your students. You look forward to that. That's a sign that you're experiencing a fulfilling career. The opposite of those two things, Sunday nights stress you out, you're stressed, overwhelmed, dreading Monday morning, or you literally hate everybody you work with and all of the people that you serve. Those are red flags. That would be a sign that things are not going well, right? All right, sign green flag number three though. Green flag number three is that your clients and your customers rave about the transformational experience that they have after working with you. And this is my favorite way to feel fulfilled in career, right? Because this is something that I experience with my mentorship every single day. Every time I connect with a mentee, every time I serve a woman um, in my program, she's talking about the transformational power of the Mentor Me Accelerator or the transformational power of the Mentor Me Mastermind or how, you know, she's showing up different, talking different, you know, acting different, um, positioning herself better after experiencing my mentorship. And that means so much to me. I'm so proud of that. Your clients, your customers, your students, your staff should feel the exact same way. If people are not transformed after working with you, if people are not thrilled about the experience they have with you, if people don't feel overwhelmed with gratitude and 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 a sense of relief and joy and, 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 and a transformational transaction after working with you, that is a problem, right? That's a problem. A sign of career fulfillment is that you are fulfilling your promise to your client, to your customer, to your students, to your stakeholders, right? You are fulfilled by fulfilling a promise to the primary stakeholder. If there is no, if they don't fulfill fulfilled, you likely won't feel fulfilled. And we can all remember a time in our careers where, you know, we were just doing something that was totally meaningless, checking a box. You know, I remember when I was in college, I used to work at a call center for, um, I think it was like M&T Bank or something, some bank. And I would just call them like, are you satisfied with your experience at the bank? And I got hung up on more times than I didn't, right? And oh my gosh, like I just felt so worthless in that job. I just felt like I wasn't doing anything that was meaningful, anything that like transformed the lives of people. Nobody got off the phone with me and was like, oh, I'm so glad I talked to her, <laughs> right? And, and a lot of that was about the job and about the tasks that I was doing. Um, but moreover, I think that it was about like, I, like, you know, it wasn't a transformational experience, right? Like, you know, those people didn't even know I was going to call. So they had very low expectations about, you know, if they would be willing to speak with me um, or what they would get out of the call anyway, right? And so, you know, you want to do work that where you're having a transformational transaction or a transformational experience with the people that you serve. And if you're not experiencing that, you likely will not have career fulfillment, right? And then the last sign, the last sign of career fulfillment is that you feel financially secure and proud to earn a living doing something that you're good at, right? Um, you know, there's this running joke that, you know, when you get a new job, you're like automatically calculating how much money am I going to, you know, have to spend on, um, you know, taxes? How much money am I going to have to spend on the 401k? How much money am I going to have to spend on the health insurance plan? And what's my take home pay, right? Like everybody does that calculation in their head, Um but there's nothing more fulfilling about work um, than being paid well to do something that you know you're good at, right? Like that feels so good, right? And again, we don't want to take the Mother Teresa a route to work. We want to be paid well for the work that we do. We want to we want to do meaningful work and be compensated appropriately for it. Long are the days of well, I'm just you know glad to help out, even though y'all paying me pennies. Right. Long gone are the days of that. Right. In, in today's date and time, we can't afford to not be paid well for the great value that we bring to the table. Right. And so 
you know, when you experience career fulfillment, you know that you're experiencing that because you're paid well and, and you feel proud of the work that you're doing um, and the compensation you're earning to do that great work, right? So four, four key signs of career fulfillment is that, you know, you feel peace and ease on Sunday nights before a Monday morning work week. You feel excited to engage and connect with your colleagues and your staff and your teams and your peers. You, you Your clients, your customers, your stakeholders have a transformational positive experience after working with you and you feel financially secure you know and proud to do something um that you enjoy and that you're paid well to do it those are the green flags of career success right that is what career fulfillment really looks like and if you're not experiencing that right now in your career um that's a red flag right if you're not experiencing success excitement um transformational impact financially secure if you're not feeling any of that, if what I said today doesn't resonate with you, if you're like, actually, I can't relate to that. I never experienced that in my life, you know, as it relates to work, then that's a problem. And that's a sign that you need mentorship. If you are a new professional, then I invite you. Um, if you're a new or mid-level professional, I invite you into my Mentor Me Accelerator. It's a 90-day career advancement program for new and mid-level professional women, uh, really to help you make more money and have more impact in your career. If you're more of a mid-level or a senior level professional and you're really looking for high impact um, new skills to really advance to the highest levels of leadership. I'm accepting new mentees in my mastermind. And, you know, wherever you are in your career, I'm here to support you and to help you make more money and have more impact in your career because I know the value of mentorship and I know the value of career fulfillment and I know the pain, right? And quite honestly, you know and are feeling the pain of not feeling fulfilled in your career. You're feeling that pain. You're feeling that disappointment. You're feeling that anxiety. You're feeling that underwhelmment. You're feeling that disappointment, that aggy feeling that like nothing's going right in my career. Your chances are you're feeling that. And instead of staying stuck in that feeling, I want to invite you into career fulfillment. Um, and you can do that through mentor me programs. Again, schedule a call with me on my website today um, to get access to mentorship. You can do so at mentor-me.org. And thanks so much for watching. Talk soon. Bye-bye.